was 22 push-ups spread awareness of the 22 a day pandemic that we are facing currently where 22 veterans are committing suicide. At the end of that 22 days, something clicked in my brain and was like, why are we going to stop? The problem is not stopping. We shouldn't stop. Hello, my name is Paul Davis. I'm a United States Navy veteran, served on the USS Harry S. Truman 2010 to 2014, where I was an aviation ordinanceman, third class petty officer. I served a nine month deployment overseas in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. And since I got out of the military, I've had a uh, litany of mental health issues that have led to alcohol abuse, drug abuse, um, it's led to suicidal ideation and temptation. Um, and I just want everyone who watches the documentary to be aware that all the veterans that are going to speak here are all real veterans. They deal with these issues on daily and they've lost friends and family to this pandemic of 22 a day. <sighs> my name is James Edward Nelson. Uh, all my friends and family call me Nicholas Nelson. I am um, BM1 Nelson in the Navy Reserves out of Baltimore, Maryland. I have been in the Navy for 13 years, four years active, nine years reserve. I served on Operation Enduring Freedom from May 2010 to December 2010. I was 24, seven, 365 days a year um, on deployment and everything, going from point A to B. They always tell you, go, 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 go. And, and there's never a, a stopping point. You're always on the, always on the move. Um, the reason being is because you are out there having to be each other's battle buddies, having to be um, be there for each other, having to watch each other's back 24 seven. A fire goes down, you're not gonna call the Atlantic Ocean Fire Department. Something stupid happens where the Iraqis wanna have a, have a uh, standoff in the middle of combat or wanna challenge you guys to, or challenge us to combat. Um, there's no call in the Iraqi police. There's no call in the United States police. There's none of that. You, it is all on you. My name is Amber Viola and I am a Navy veteran. Um, I spent eight years in the military and did two deployments on the Abraham Lincoln. Being deployed was hard. Um, it was long, long hours. I was really tired all the time. Adrenaline going all the time. Always busy, always on the go. And um, you didn't really have time to think. So life after the military was really boring for me um, because I was used to going all the time. So I kind of felt like I wasted a lot of time not being able to, not feeling like I had a purpose every second of every day. I actually had a, a boyfriend on the Lincoln. Uh, he ended up getting out and he killed himself. And that's something that messes me up every single day. I think about it all the time and He's just one person of many, but you know, we lose so many people every day. Um, and I think now I probably know about eight people who have killed themselves um, since I've been in and, and since I've been out personally that I knew. And even more who I knew in passing, more generally and, and so many more that I didn't know. But it's something that I think about all the time and I think about them constantly. And it breaks my heart that so many of us leave people affected by us trying to end our pain. <laughs> My name is Timothy Scone. I was a PFC in the Army as a combat engineer. I served time over in Afghanistan. Just about 
I think it was over two years, I was medically discharged. When I first got out, um, going from through the transition of getting out of the military, once you get into that military medical sector where you everybody knows you're getting out and stuff like that beforehand, um, the whole attitude towards you as a soldier changes. My daily life is a whirlwind. You try to keep your self composed as a person, but you're constantly battling with different things. You, you gotta deal with it. You gotta find a way because when we take our lives, it doesn't affect us. We're gone, that's it, it's over. It affects everybody around us. And being a survivor of multiple friends, losing their lives, it's, it hurts everyone. That's the big thing that keeps me going. That's the one thing that makes me want to keep pushing, even in my darkest hours, because I still get there, is knowing that I'm not hurting me. Yes, my hurting will stop, but it will put so much hurt on everyone else. <laughs> My name is Denise Carey. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I am the director of the Scranton Vet Center. I have been here uh, about six months. I worked in suicide prevention at the VA uh, for 10 years, where I worked very closely with veterans uh, who were in distress and, and in crisis um, and helped them to get resources. Unfortunately, I also um, was part of um, having to report suicides in the area. Warning signs of suicide are, first of all, anyone who's talking actively about wanting to die by suicide, wanting to kill themselves, not being safe, saying stuff like white knuckling it, or um, feeling very, very anxious. Um, noticing a mood change. Some 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 persons are, you know, really quiet. Or they isolate, and if that's not something that they've done before, obviously that's something that's a huge warning sign. If someone starts to isolate, um, if someone is start stockpiling medications, uh, that's another thing. Very big warning sign. Want to make sure that they're okay. Um, someone who is has increased drug and alcohol use. You know, drug and alcohol use inhibits the, the, you know, the body so, and inhibits the reaction. So if, if you are having thoughts, it may be a little easier to do it under the influence. Family members are vital to, to recovery. Um, learning about what triggers are is a vital, important thing for family members to know. Um, and understand. Veterans, you know, with PTSD, sometimes they, they present as anxious and angry, you know, sometimes have a little trouble controlling some of that. That's something that, you know, family members should be aware that, okay, maybe dad or mom's not having a really good day today. You know, how could I, you know, make things okay, make it better, or at least be aware and, and give them some space. Um, you know, so family members talking about things, uh, counseling is super important. Um, we do readjustment counseling here at the Vet Center for, for PTSD, for persons that are struggling with PTSD and depression and anxiety. Um, and we do, we work with families as well as, as, as you know, couples uh, to make sure that we could provide everything that we can to help our veterans um, live the life that they deserve to live. So I just want to say that um, because of the efforts of those in, in, in our country and in our society who, you know, keep the, the light on in suicide prevention and 22 a day, 22 push-ups a day, Mission 22, everyone who knows and, and has been trying very hard to, to, keep, to bring awareness to it. Um, the latest numbers that we have um, is now that, that 22 a day is at 17 a day. And I know that 17 is, is way too many, but um, to know that the suicide rate among veterans is going down um, per day to 17 versus 22, and it was 22 at one point. Um, so keep up the good work, all of us, and, um, and uh, thank you for your service. If you are a veteran or you know a veteran that is in crisis, please reach out.